so welcome everyone. Happy days are here again. We're here to do an unboxing and the review of the Neo Geo Pro Fight Stick Mini Console. So as you can see, it's come from Amazon with the big smile on the front. Address has been removed in case you wanted to track me down. So it's time to unbox and see what we've got inside. Let me do a little bit of slicey there. And a little bit of slicey there. As always, be careful never to push too deep in case it slices the box. And we've got a little bit here and a little bit here. There we go. There we go. And we have the proverbial paper packaging. Don't need that. Don't need that. But here we have. Ooh. Neo Geo RK Stick Pro. Nice. So, taking a look at the box, first thing we have is the Neo Geo RK Stick Pro. Age rating 16 plus, so anybody under that, turn off the video now because it's not for you. So, I like the logo on the front Neo Geo. That's my face when I saw it existed. That's my face when I saw the price. But that's my face again when it was delivered. Looking around the box, let's see what we've got on the side. Another Neo Geo logo, SNK of course. And next we've got probably the more interesting part of the box. The stuff that's actually in the box. So we've got ourselves the fighter stick here. All the crazy ports on there. Supports Neo Geo Mini as a controller. Nah, that's not too bad. 20 included games. Hopefully you can zoom in and see what these are. But there's a lot of text on the back. And as we know, readings for prisoners. So if you're interested, pause it and read it. On the other side, we've got the arcade stick logo again. And on the bottom, we've got a picture of the stick. The one interesting thing I did notice is it says there that this needs to be connected to a um, TV, PC or other device. So it sounds to me like there's no power adapter included. There is a power cable, a type A to C converter. Nope. They've included those stickers that we so desperately wanted, but no plug. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Right, with a change of view, I thought before I opened it, we'd have a closer look at what games were included. So look at this skill. Ooh. Again, I won't patronise you by reading them to you. However, I did see online the Neo Geo are going to be releasing 20 additional games that my understanding are already on the console as well as the 20 that are listed here. I think they're releasing two a month. However, if you look online, I think you can find a hack to put them straight in. So, a closer look at some of the bits and bobs that are here. Neo Geo Mini. That's a better look at all those ports. And now, it's time to open. So, let's have a look. First thing we do, pull that out like that. <coughs> Up. Oh no, I've totally... <laughs> I've totally opened it the wrong way. Let's just fix that up. And there we go. Hi, comma, no space. This is ASP, comma, no space. Your new friend. Just what I needed, a brand new friend. Next, we lift up this. And it's totally detachable. Don't need that no more. So, solidly packed. So it doesn't get destroyed on its way across the country. Let's lift that up. Smooth. So what else have we got in here? We got ourselves oh, an instruction manual and a mystery box. So I know what's interesting me most. It's this mystery box and what's inside. So let's have a look, opening it up. Ooh, so first thing we're greeted with, Neo Geo stickers, just what you've always wanted. And what else have we got? Oh, I presume those are some sticky feet to go on the bottom of the joypad to stop it slipping and sliding. And I think, unless I'm wrong, 
Yep, USB A to USB C adapter. I guess that's for the Neo Geo Mini. Hmm. Taking a closer look at the cable that's included, of course, there was no power plug as we predicted. We've got ourselves a nice white logoed, if you believe it or not. Let's see if we can get a closer look at that. Zoom, boom. Neo Geo USB C to USB A cable. Now, I don't know about you guys, I am loving USB C. It's clearly the future, we know that it is. As soon as we see off the USB A, I'll be a happy, happy man. So, popping that down, and now it's time for the instructions. So, we know how much I enjoy reading. So, what I'm going to do is just bring it closer for you to have a look at and pause and feel free to read for yourself. Now, ugh, here we go. Multi language, all this stuff that you've always wanted to know. Oh, yep, yeah. <clears throat> look at all that knowledge. But as we know, what we do on this channel is we just plug it in and hope for the best. So it's time for your main event, the unveiling of the joystick. So over here we go, removing the one foam end and the other foam end. And I get a feeling this is the way it's meant to be facing. Hopefully we can get the unveiling properly done. And... Oh no, of course, I've opened it the wrong way around. So, here it is. Ooh, clicky. Nice. This is going to take ultimate dexterity, but I'm going to hold the console and try and show you guys everything that's on it. Now, this isn't a light console. It's got a bit of weight to it. So, first things first, we've got our omnidirectional joystick. Nice. We've got our buttons. Clicky. Then, looking on this part of the uh, mini console, we've got our two player one, player two USB-C ports. Stereo input for headphones. Not sure who still uses stereo. Bluetooth all the way. On the other side, oh, whoa, whoa, we almost missed these. We've got ourselves our turbo button. Options, select, start, and then whatever these are. Probably should have read the instructions. Maybe we'll look at those in a minute. On the other side of the console, we've got ourselves our USB-C. I assume that's the power. We've got ourselves our HDMI. Oof, and look closely at this one, real close. Now this is the port where all the magic happens. So reading online, that's the port you're going to use to unlock your extra games. That's also the port you're going to use to maybe put some extra games on. Might talk about that a little bit later. And on the other side, absolutely nothing. But wait. What's this? <sighs> Herculean strength. So what we've also got here is a USB... A cable that could be used to plug into PC and I believe using a particular adapter you can plug it into a switch a PS4 an Xbox one probably gonna have to uh, order one of those adapters and have a review of those but not only can it be used as a mini home console it can also be used as a proper fight stick so looking good so far I guess the only thing left is to hook it up and shoot a bit of footage of it working so as you can see, it's all plugged in and ready to go on the TV. Thought I could capture it using a game capture card, but no, we're going old school this video, recording straight from the TV. Now a couple of things have occurred to me whilst plugging this bad boy in. First things first, no HDMI included. Now that's a bit of a bummer, but let's face it, we've all got a HDMI cable lying around somewhere. Second of all, no power plug. That's not a problem. Plug it into any normal USB power plug and you'll be absolutely fine. I think it's got to be a 5 volt. Yeah, Check the manual. That's always the best place to look. Secondly, output resolution for the console is 720p, not 1080. So as those of you who are resolution people, you're going to be a little bit disappointed. And the other thing that I noticed whilst plugging it all in, if I lift the console up for you to have a little bit of a look, whoop. Can you see that little hole there? 
That's quite clever. Inside that box is the um, USB-A um, cable that you use to plug into PCs and consoles and things like that. So it means you can have the cable hanging out and close the compartment all in one. Pretty nice. So let's take a closer look at some of the included games. So I'm going to scroll across, have a look. Was it King of Fighters 95? 97? Ooh, listen to that noise. 98, 99, 2000. King of Fighters 2002. You better hope you like King of Fighters because there's a lot of them on there. Something special. Yep, yeah, can't read that. It's Road to the Final Victory 3. Oh, this is just not going well. Samurai Spirits. <laughs> you better hope you know what that is. And that one. Oh, what a mug. I've just noticed above the box art is the name of the... Uh, Name of the game. Hang my head in shame. Hang my head in shame. Let's keep going. Art of Fighting. World Heroes 2. 20 pre-installed games here. All of them fighting games, but that's not a problem. My understanding is the uh, 20 extra that they're going to release are you know, a wider variety of games. So let's click into one and let's see what it's like. Neo Geo! This game is for use in Japan only. Ooh, dear. Nineteen ninety five. Let's go! Looks like I used to start but on the side to start. So how to play, mash the buttons as you stand. Ah, hairy old man. Gotta be here. menu save load controller settings ah 
please, P please press the button for A. <laughs> oh, this should get better and better. Nope. Screen size, quality, pixel scaling, smooth scaling. Um, exit. I think that's known as a rage quit. Let's try something else. Let's go for Samurai Showdown 5 Special. Giga Power. Pro Gear Spec. Sounds epic. Push start. Yes, I will. Practice new thank you straight in. <laughs> Whack stab. Proper stab. <laughs> oh, didn't need to know what that's there. I think there's one obvious choice here. And that's this guy. Retiring undefeated here. So I think it's almost time to draw us to a close. Let's check out what we got on the menu side of things. Language, screen size, quality, we saw that already. System. Ooh. Now, so I'm reading online, unlock. I think when you put the download files from the website in the back, plug it in the USB port, that's how you unlock the extra game. System upgrade, I guess that's to upgrade the system. A factory reset, and I guess that's a serial code at the bottom. Nice. Let's see what else we've got. So in case you want the manual, they've put the whole thing on here for you. Oh, excellent. Those then toggle switches I didn't know about. Yep. Read that another time and big old C. Copyright. Double space. This product is protected by copyright. So, final thoughts. So, here are my final thoughts. My final opinions on the console for the moment. So, very impressed. Not a bad price point, much cheaper than the Capcom Home Arcade. I'm very impressed with that. I like the way if you get it from Amazon and you're an Amazon Prime subscriber, you can split it over five months at no additional cost. Makes that sting in these economic times not too bad. In terms of the console itself, I like the buttons. Very responsive, nice and bouncy, just the way you like it. 
the joystick really nice clicking noise you know that's the thing you look for that's the memory you have in those times that you spend in the, ar the arcades in terms of the games played a few gonna need some more time to try the others but yeah it's enjoyable very sort of nostalgic i would say so i'll leave it there i'll wrap it up i'll probably do an update video when i played a bit more maybe look at it when putting the extra games on or putting extra games on myself uh, i'll let you know how it goes thank you very much for your time It'd be lovely if you could subscribe or leave a comment look after yourselves